he had an aura that just spelled out nothing but goodness. And I miss him extremely well. Tonight, people in a Portland neighborhood are remembering a beloved postal worker. People who knew Tristan Thomas say he was a different kind of mailman. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Mike Gasway. Thomas was not on the job when someone stabbed him in September. The incident raises questions about the suspect's criminal history. Victor Park joins us live from the Lentz neighborhood of Southeast Portland where Thomas worked. Victor? Hey there, right. Well, uh, Tristan Thomas worked at a nearby post office, which served the, this Lentz neighborhood, where a community is remembering a man who made people smile one delivery at a time. Lentz neighborhood is our family. And he's kind of like, almost like the godfather of the neighborhood. Automotive Outfitters on Southeast Foster Road was part of Tristan Thomas's delivery route. Business has been here for 25 years. Workers say they have seen mail carriers come and go, but Thomas was different. And he was a little different than the mailman we've previously seen. He had a different look to him, he had a gleam in his eye. He smiled, and he made me laugh the first time I met him. Thomas was stabbed outside his apartment in Clackamas County on September 21st, according to authorities. The 43-year-old was taken to the hospital, where he tragically died 12 days later. As soon as I heard about it, I was in, honestly in shock and disbelief, and it broke my heart. Police say this is the suspect in the case, 52-year-old Chad Westover. Investigators say he stabbed Thomas during an argument. Deputies arrested him on a murder charge and other crimes after the victim died. It angers me above and beyond, but all I can do is wish and pray the world gets to be a better place. Westover's criminal history reveals he has been accused of assault three other times. And now this community is left sharing letters of memories. He'd hop out of his truck, his van or whatever, and he was hop, skippity, jump. And it just made the place better when he was there for the few minutes every day. Yeah, a lot of people also reacting on social media. And by the way, Clackamas County Sheriff's Office says a woman was also arrested for assault, tampering with evidence, among other crimes. We're live here in the Lentz neighborhood. I'm Victor Park, K2 News. Victor, thank you for that.